Hello? We're here for the field trip? <laughs> sorry, sorry. Boy, it's getting harder and harder to make it here by 10. <coughs> Gather around, kids. We're about to enter the museum. Oh, no. Man. Of crime. <laughs> That's right. She's got the munchies for a California cheeseburger. Okay, that was the sand movie. The Moon. For several years, she has fascinated many. By 1964, experts say man will have established 12 colonies on the Moon, ideal for family vacations. Miss Hoover, the movie's over. Where's Miss Hoover? Hey, her car's gone. Maybe she drove to the moon. Of course we could make things more challenging, Lisa, but then the stupider students would be in here complaining, furrowing their brows in a vain attempt to understand the situation. As you can see, some of the boys like to put their banana stickers all over it. Uh, there's Chiquita, there's Del Monte, there's a Bananco, Gorilla's Choice. Testing. Testing. <laughs> you really did it this time, Bart! Now about your punishment, young man. I know. I'll go to my room and think about what I did. No, oh, no. Your room is full of toys. You're going to the, uh, garage. Bart just needs a little discipline. Uh, hey, what about military school? It set my brother straight. Now he owns and operates a famous cave. Hmm, you know, maybe Chief Wickham is right. Wow, I can't believe we're going to Disneyland. <laughs> military school? You lied to me! Well, I'm sorry if you heard Disneyland, but I distinctly said military school. Well, it certainly was nice of you to accept Bart in the middle of the semester. Fortunately, we've had a couple of recent freakouts, so that freed up a couple of bumps. They sure are. <laughs> That's not so disciplined. They're just children, Mr. Simpson. Please don't make me stay, Dad. I'll do anything you say. I'll find religion. I'll be good sometimes. Let go, my lady. No! Son, for the last time, you're staying at military school. And so am I. All right. Let's go over this one more time, just to make sure I understand the situation. <clears throat> you're a girl. Yes. In our 185 years, we have never had a female cadet. Um, but that seems to be the way the wind is blowing these days. Lisa, if you ever want to quit and come home, I'll be here in half a jiff. I want to quit and come home. I want to quit and come home. A tan hut! This is now the girls' barracks, so pack your things, you're moving in with Company L. Company L? But they smell! Yes, we've all heard the chant. Now fall out! Don't worry, we'll drive her out of the academy. That is why God created Hazy. Is there any answer I can give that won't result in more push-ups? No. Cleaning graffiti off a statue makes a mockery of everything I stand for. I don't think I can survive here, Lise. That's how they want you to feel. But if you just hang in there, they'll eventually accept you. Uh -huh. What say you men? Has this lowly maggot passed the test? You <laughs> made it! Four out of five, Simpson. Impressive. Dad, can someone help me? It's stuck on auto fire. Whoa, do you hear anything? No. I am not asking to come home. Marge, you got that? Marge. Simpson. Hot diggity! I don't care if it's bad news! Oh, Grandpa, you're not busy, are you? 
Well, you're really asking two questions there. Hey. And that's everything that happened in my life right up to the time I got this phone call. Uh-huh. So, anything else you want to talk about? Ooh. What is it? Bart, I got a cassette from Mom and Dad. All right. Lights out. Very common to be homesick when you're so far away from the people who love you. Okay. I'm not gonna give up. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. Sorry I froze you out, Lise. I, I just didn't want the guys to think I'd gone soft on the girl issue. Ugh, I'm tired of being an issue, Bart. Look, the point is, you're gonna make it, Lise, and I'm gonna stick by you. Don't do that. Why should we both be outcasts? Then I'll just stick by you in secret. But these skills are nothing without courage and stamina. Traditionally, the Academy tested these virtues by pitting you against each other in a two-day battle royale. <gasps> That's a 150-foot hand-over-hand crawl across a 60-gauge hemp jute line with a blister factor of 12. Meet me at the Eliminator after lights out. P.S. The cadets are planning to throw their meatballs at you. Mm. I can't do this, Bart. I'm not strong enough. I thought you came here looking for a challenge. What are you doing out here? Nothing. Nothing? Doesn't look like nothing. Oh, yeah? Well, um, what are you doing out here? That was close. Bees. 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 <laughs> You will be the last class to be subjected to it. Anderson, you're up. <laughs> last up, Simpson, Lisa. Well, at least they're talking to me. If only I were in Springfield, all my friends would be cheering me on. Oh, God, I'm delirious. You can make it, Lisa. I know you can. Come on, I know you can do it. Just get your hands back on the rope. We're going to make your life a living hell for the rest of the semester. But... Graduation's in three hours. We better go change. Most of the actual fighting will be done by small robots. And as you go forth today, remember always, your duty is clear, to build and maintain those robots. Luckily, I am now trained in six additional forms of unarmed combat, sir. Well, he's got more confidence. Uh, yeah. I've always said a boy could use more confidence. A medal? Thank you, sir. Hmm? Well, kids, we're so proud of the way you completed military school. We thought this time we'd take you to Disneyland for real. Yeah! <laughs> How's the ice cream, kids? Great! This whole morning has been wonderful. Too wonderful. <laughs> it's shot day! Children, you should be grateful you live in a country where childhood diseases have been practically... Karate! Ow! This is ridiculous. Only babies and ex-junkies are afraid of needles. Stick me, chuckles. <laughs> Can I have a lollipop? Don't forget Maggie. Oh, I got her when your heads were turned. Got her good. <laughs> <laughs> But nobody escapes the needle. Darlene, cancel all my appointments. But I need that kidney now. <laughs> Don't feel bad, Doc. I won't even let my mom clip my toenails. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Barney. Now that wasn't so bad, was it?
wasn't Bart. You know, sometimes the fear of... Whoa, something's wrong. Ah, ah, I can't hear... Maybe this would be a good time to talk about side effects. We can express himself with this complimentary pen. Cool. Oh, it's a good pen. Try it out. Mm -hmm. That was a malpractice waiver, fool. <laughs> Homer! Oh! I know what you're hiding, lad. Willie's been deaf since the boiler explosion of 88, but I taught myself to read lips. Morning, Willie! What did you say about me, mother? Bart, pass the ketchup. Bart! Pass the ketchup! Dad, he's deaf. Oh, sorry, right. Bart, pass the corn. Bart, pass the corn! Fish! Welcome, everyone, to the annual Donkey Basketball Classic. Hey, Donkey, want a carrot? How dare he! That's the flag my grandpappy rebelled against! When you insult the flag, you insult my flag tattoo! What did you say about my mother? You'll fry up nice tonight. I swear, Bart didn't know what he was doing. He was deaf. Oh, sure, Marge. Just like blind Bart. Hey, fellas, my hearing's back. Congratulations, traitor. Thank you. And let me say, I missed your sweet, sweet voices. Cram it, you racky. Ugh. Why'd you diss the flag? All right, who could take a story and blow it way out of proportion? I'm your man, boss. I want you to overhype this story so much it makes the New York Post look like the New York Times. Or the New York Times look like the New York Post. I did not come to this country illegally to see it mocked. There's the boy who bared his bottom to old glory. Huh? Hey, Benedict Arnold, our cups don't want your colorful balls. No one calls me unpatriotic. Uh, oh. Uh. oh, cold shoulder, huh? Well, I'll just talk to myself. Hey, how you doing, Homer? Oh, not too bad. How about you? Oh, I'm fine. Your wife was great in bed last night. You keep your hands off my wife! This bar's only for real Americans and people on permanent visas, like me. What? What are you all looking at? I'm Dutch. Even my best friends have left me. I'm all alone. <laughs> Hello. Appear on your TV show? Tell our side of the story? You'll see us there? Goodbye? Dial tone! Dad, I am going on a talk show. I have to say something. Talk about boats. Then when he asks you if you hate this country, you just start crying and pretend you don't. But I don't hate this country. I've realized something. I'm the worst kid in the world. And the last thing I deserve is forgiveness. Oh, well, America's not perfect. So America isn't perfect. Is that why you and your son hate us? Yes, I do hate Americans. Patriotic Americans are denouncing Springfield and its official spokesman, The Simpsons. I declare today, December 25th, we hate Springfield Day. Yeah. Be praised. Praise be to Springfield. <laughs> but not everyone is ugulating tonight. Inventions are pulling out of Springfield left and right. The Paprika Festival, Pandana Days. Sir, we just lost the Adult Video Awards. Not the phonies. <laughs> I am honored to announce that we are changing the name of our town to Libertyville. I'm as patriotic as the next person, but changing the traffic lights to red, white, and blue just seems dangerous. Come on, good go, you got the red. Oh, no! <laughs> and Puma are fighting. No, no, those are their pre-witch hunt names. Their new names are Freedom, Lincoln, Condoleezza, Coke, Pepsi, Manifest Destiny, Apple Pie, and Superman. Lord, give us the courage to worship the American flag. No law abridging the freedom of speech or of the press. That's from the First Amendment to the Constitution. Thank you. 
Vincent, you're under arrest for the violation of the Government Knows Best Act. Buy me some peanuts and crackers, Jack. I don't care. Ah! You were right, homie. We shouldn't have rocked the boat. Then none of this would have ever happened. Well, we're not the only ones to be unjustly imprisoned. Check out all the left-wing celebrities. Hello, I'm the U.S. Constitution, and I'm over 200 years old. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to escape, you can do it during the prison talent show tomorrow night. 99, 100. Now, people have accused this family of not loving our country. But you can't spell USA without us, eh? 50 stars and 13 stripes. Okay, kids, show up your pipes. Dad, why are you still singing that stupid song? Because if they catch us, we may have to do it again. Oh! A genius put a prison on the middle of an island. Does everyone remember their swimming lessons? Yes. Yes, no. <laughs> swim toward San Francisco. I'm not made of money. We'll swim to Oakland. There's a ship. We're safe. Mes amis, we hate America too. And we shall mock the country that saved us twice from the Germans. Oh, I've always wanted to go to France. And these Chanel suits are five for a dollar. I'm using a jacket as a napkin. And yet, I miss America. I miss America, too. Some group that's always welcome in America. Immigrants without IDs. Well, kids, this is the first chapter of our brand new lives. I think I'm going to like this America. Everywhere around.